previous video we described a property of poncelate triangle families inscribed in a circle and circumscribing some generic caustic centered on O, this red O prime in this particular uh, labeling here. And I could move, you know, I could select the O prime that, you know, I wish to, just to sort of randomize the position of this generic caustic. Um, but the phenomenon that we described was that for whichever O prime you selected, the X3 at the center, circumcenter, X74 axis <coughs> remained stationary. Uh, <coughs> reminding the viewers that X110 over here is the um, uh, antipodal point on the circumcircle of X74. So I picked a particular caustic center and I got a particular um, stationary axis. Now for now I want you to ignore the green stuff here. I'll talk about this in a minute. So what am I showing here? I'm, I'm showing the foci of the caustic. I'm showing the stationary axis. I'm showing the base equilateral. Now the question that has been asked is the following. Is there a locus of O prime such that the axis doesn't move? So is there a subset of inconics for which this uh, X110, X74 axis remains? stationary so it's kind of like a double station stationarity right you got a stationarity over poncelet of the axis and now we're going to get a second stationarity of this axis with movements of the center of the inconic okay now the answer provided uh, quite elegantly to me by uh, uh, mark hellman and we're writing a paper about it right now is the following to get the locus of o prime first of all the locus this, the locus that is being sought is a line. And to get this line, you need to do a very simple construction. You actually choose a particular point, K, on the circumcircle, where you would like your fixed X110 to be. Okay? Now then, you actually <laughs> compute uh, the external bisector of this wedge here from K to the center O to this top vertex of the uh, equilateral. So you have this green wedge. Now I'm going to get its external um, bisector, drawn here as this dashed green line. And then the final step is you reflect this about either axis, let's call it, you know, let's reflect this about this axis of symmetry of, of the equilateral that pa passes through that um, upper vertex there. So you'd be like the y-axis here, although this doesn't have any geometric sense, everything here is rotationally invariant. So I'm going to reflect this guy about this vertical axis, and I'm going to obtain this new axis. Now, the claim is, if always on this axis, okay, x10 doesn't move. Now let's check that. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to attach, I'm going to attach O, to a point on this line. There's some dependence. Well, let's do it like this. What I want to do is I want to put O on this line, like that. I guess now um, GeoGebra is allowing me to do it. And you can see here that lo and behold, as I carefully move O over this line, I'm staying within the medial of the equilateral A prime, B prime, C prime, so that I, I don't transform this in conic into a hyperbola. But you can see here that now I have a double uh, a double phenomenon here, right? Uh, X110 is stationary on the chosen K over Poncelet, and it remains stationary on that chosen K if I slide O prime on this locus. Okay, and the construction, let's go ahead and choose another K here. Let's put, let's put K, and I'm having some trouble here with the numerics. There's got to be some infinite loop going on. I'm going to put my chosen K over here now. And now uh, let's repeat the construction. I actually got the external bisector of KOC prime, which is this dotted green line. And then I reflect it upon OC prime. And then I get this uh, dash dot line. And if <laughs> calculations are correct, when O falls on this line, X10 is going to fall on the chosen K. Okay, so I truly have a double stationarity, or if you want to call it 
uh, with different name. Um, I have stationarity of x110 over the Poncelet family. And I have a locus for the center of the conic, which is a straight line that preserves this particular uh, eigendirection. Okay. Okay, that's all I have.